I promise you guys, this match you don't want to miss Grandmaster Arjun Arigaisi against the legend Magnus Carlsen. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back chess fans! Today we have an extraordinary battle to analyze Grandmaster Arjuna Rigaisi with white pieces versus the legend, the GOAT maybe, Grandmaster Magnus Carlsen from the ongoing Tata Steel India 2024 This is not just any game, it's a clash between two generations of chess talent Arjun, the rising star of Indian chess, has been making waves recently with his incredible performance, while Magnus Carlsen, the undisputed king of chess for over a decade, continues to dominate the chess world. The rivalry between these two has been eating up over the past few years, Arjun is showing he can hold his own against Grandmaster Magnus Carlsen in Blitz, Rapid and also in classical formats, making this matchup even more thrilling. Will the young prodigy outshine the legend or will Magnus prove once again why is the GOAT? Let's dive in and find out and before we get started don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more high quality chess content for me it will be very good i really appreciate it so and hey if you're loving the analysis consider also joining our exclusive membership club right here on youtube hit the join button below for loyalty badges emojis live chat access and much more and now let's jump into the game so white pieces are junior guys see black pieces magnus carlsen e4 c5 sicilian opening oh we like it knight of three e6 and now d4 c takes knight takes and knight c6 knight c3 and queen c7 was played by magnus carlsen taimanov variation bishop e3 a6 and here he played a move a3 for me, it was a really surprising move. There are several options here to play. Queen e3 is very uh, common in these days. Also, bishop e2, I played uh, this move recently. Uh, but he played a move a3. The point here, just you know, to block this option of bishop b4, and also maybe the next future to block like b5 and b4. But let's see what is going on here. Knight takes d4 after one minute of thought. I I was sure that after a3, Magnus. Uh, you know, was you know a little bit uh, surprised uh, after this move. So he thought about one minute and take the knight on d4. Queen takes d4 and now b5. He didn't want to play the move b5 immediately because of knight takes e6. And here after queen takes there is some bishop e2, bishop f3 with e5, some options like this. So he just you know took the knight on d4 and after queen takes d4 just b5. And here bishop e2 was played, bishop b7, makes sense until now, and just long castle. Also, short castle was interesting solution to play. For example, after short castle, knight f6, e5, knight d5, uh, takes, takes, and rook ac1 probably, uh, with c4 and rook fd1. I like this position for white, but probably rook c8, just to avoid c4. Uh, interesting position also, bishop c5, uh, maybe is the point for black, so yeah, interesting position but after bishop b7 uh, Arjun decided to play the, the move long castle and probably he want uh, to bring some interesting positions into this game don't forget that the clock situation here is 25 minutes uh, game uh, per each player of course so it's rapid game it's not classical game uh, it's like rapid and after I don't know 15 minutes 20 minutes it's already a blitz game right uh, so it's very complicated. So long castle and our rook c8 was played. King b1 and knight f6. Here probably knight e4 is not a good idea. For example, if I'm playing the move f4, uh, so knight e4 is a better idea because knight takes e4, queen c2 and king a1. But there, after queen takes e4 or bishop takes e4 or queen takes e2, queen d7, checkmate on the board, right? So don't forget about uh, the king. It's not safe at all and in e8 so after knight f6 was played the move e5 now knight d5 knight takes d5 and bishop d5 
Maybe you ask yourself why not to play them with queen c2 check. So here king a1 and after bishop d5 just rook c1, right? And the game is over. So e takes d5 is the only way here, but I don't know, rook c1, yeah. Should be winning takes, uh, rook takes, bishop takes and just rook c1. And you know, this bishop will uh, will be, you know, just fall very soon after bishop b7, for example. Uh, I don't know, rook c7 or queen a7, or queen b6 looks very bad yeah probably like this after bishop c6 just checkmate on the board right i don't know how but probably like queen b4 king e6 yeah check here uh king f5 queen f4 and checkmate yeah so after knight d5 bishop takes d5 was played by magnus carlsen of course he didn't uh, thought about queen takes e2 so as you can see wow so much time after king b1 seven minutes of thought arjun or guys very surprising so let's see yeah if i have knight takes bishop takes and now bishop d3 of course and just defend the pawn on c2 bishop takes g2 magnus says you know what thank you for the pawn thank you thank you thank you rook g1 and now bishop d5 just coming back magnus carlsen the goat you know the best player in the world just not afraid from anything h4 is going forward and now as you can see the bishop on f8 cannot move right because he must defend the pawn on g7 because this rook is doing perfect job in this file so g6 was played very logical and now the next move with the black pieces will be probably bishop c5 and now queen f4 was played and the point here of course uh, bishop c5 here is is a bad option probably h5 and queen f6 something around this so uh, bishop e7 was played by magnus carlsen of course also uh, to defend the f6 square very important square just to annoying white pieces right h5 was played and now rook f8 another interesting move uh, i was not sure about it but overall it was interesting solution by magnus carlsen just bringing the rook to f8 uh, you know to protect the f7 pawn and also to go from this h5 bishop d4 and now queen b7 i really like this move queen b7 also first of all just opening the file for the rook and also thinking about playing the move b4 and trying maybe to attack this king on b1 because when white is playing in the king side black must play in the queen side right and also don't forget that the king on e8 is without castle right it's amazing to see magnus carlsen doesn't need to do a castle in the game unbelievable let's see how it continues so rook g3 was played and now b4 is going for the attack in the queen side against the king on b1 and black has the pieces to attack there right there is a bishop here there is another bishop that's controlling this diagonal and also this queen and rook doing a great job here so let's see how it goes from near a takes b4 and now queen takes b4 bishop takes a6 just grab the pawn but hey magnus carlsen give it up rook b8 and as you can see this file is very complicated for white because this bishop cannot go anywhere and now bishop e2 was played and now rook a8 just amazing amazing moves by magnus carlsen now queen a4 queen a5 some threats here i don't know it looks very scary for arjuna Rigaisi, the king of india b3 was played and now queen a5 uh, attacking with queen a2 maybe bishop a3 the king on b1 is really not safe and as you can see this is a very interesting uh, game to see when white castled but his king is not safe and black didn't castle and his king just brilliant here right brilliantly safe so bishop b2 was played this was a mistake now queen a2 checking c1 and rook c8 i really like to see how magnus carlsen is playing you know the computer says oh it's not the best but but of course in time travel 10 minutes a rapid game you cannot think so much time right so rook c8 bringing the rook into the open file against the king on c1 and now c4 was played g takes h5 uh, queen d4 and now h4 the h pawn is running and we like it rook h3 and a rook g8 another just amazing move by magnus carlsen i really like it you know just to improve his position improve his pieces the rook doesn't do anything on f8 but on g8 just amazing right in open file amazing move rook g8 king c2 
Now queen a8, of course after king c2 the point and the plan was uh, rook a1, this was the threat, so of course the queen must go back to a8 because Magnus Carlsen don't want uh, to lose his queen. So rook c3 was played, bishop e4 check, bishop d3, bishop f3 attacking the rook on d1, uh, rook a1, queen c6 and that's it, this position is totally winning for black, bishop takes h7, rook g2, bishop a3, takes takes and h three the pawn h is coming into the queen let's see how it goes queen h4 h2 and now the threat is queen h1 queen takes and rook takes f2 check and bishop takes h1 and winning the game so rook a1 just rook g1 and that's it queen takes h2 rook takes a1 bishop g6 the point here was of course that if magnus carlsen with one minute will take this bishop it will be a repetition of course like this one and that's it, right? So, no, Magnus Carlsen after bishop g6 is playing the move, king d8, and uh, of course, our junior Igaisi with white pieces resigned the game. And Magnus Carlsen, another time, showing to all of the world, you know, he is the king of chess, the goat, and delivering a stellar performance against the young and talented Grandmaster Arjuna Rigaisi. While the result might not have been in Arjun's favor this time, his fearless play continues to inspire and showcase his immense potential. These games remind us of the exciting future of chess and the battles yet to come. If you enjoyed the analysis, make sure to hit the like button and share your thoughts in the comments. How do you see Arjun progress shaping up in the coming years? Let's discuss about it. Also, if you're looking to test your skills and play for real stakes, check out Outpost Chess website. You can sign up for free playing online duels for money and join tournaments with exciting prizes. There is even a real world tournament calendar to explore. I've tried it myself and it's a blast. Lastly, be among the first to join our growing chess community by becoming a member here on YouTube. Support the channel, enjoy exclusive perks and connect with fellow chess lovers. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.